Hi everyone, Mrs. Bilo here. In this video, I'm going to be going over the penny density lab that you were absent for and what this data means. So to begin with, I weighed two different or two pennies, um, which if you looked at two pennies, you would think they would uh, intuitively you would think that they both weigh the same. However, when I weighed both of these pennies they actually both had a different weight or different mass. And that was what this lab was examining, was looking at pennies before, so pre-1982, and after, post-1982. Here is the set of data for both of those. So this was the mass of the pre-pennies, 20 of them. Again, to get a good average, we used higher numbers. So that was the mass that was involved just putting them on the balance to weigh them. And then the volume, which was calculated using three different trials and the average was found. How volume was calculated was using a graduated cylinder. So for trial one, it looks like, um, and according to this data, we started with 21.8 milliliters, added the pennies, and then the volume went up to 28.5 milliliters. So the difference between those would be the volume of the pennies. And that was done three times. And think about what happens when you're adding pennies and there's water in here. What could potentially happen that could impact the accuracy of the test results? And therefore, why we had to do three trials. Again, we were taking 20 pennies and adding them to this graduated cylinder, which was filled with water. So this was the data for the pre-penny, so before the year 1982. Be sure to use the average volume when doing your calculations for density. And then this was the data for the pennies after the year um, 1982. Again, calculate the um, density using the average volume. So that is this part down here. So make sure to show all your work for pre and post pennies using the density equation, density equals mass divided by volume, and write your final answers using three significant figures. Circle your final answer, and make sure your final answer has proper units. Then you're gonna compare those to the actual results. So what you should get, and it's okay if you didn't, was before the year 1982, um, pennies were made of copper versus after the year 1982, they were made of zinc. And these are the actual values. So this is the accepted value for copper, which you're going to use for the pre. Um, again, that's for this part down here for calculating percent error. So the accepted value is what the actual value of copper is for its density. That's what you're going to plug into this equation here for the pre. And then for the accepted for the post, oopsie, you're going to use zinc. So for this calculation here, again, using the same formula, your experimental value is what you got in your experiment, what you calculated. And then don't forget to complete the analysis questions in formative. 